Welcome to a new South Texas Pride q and I'm your host, Ivan Herrera, and today I'm joined by the one and only Gorgeous Georges, who is currently on RuPaul's Drag Race Season 14. Georges, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm legit anything for my Texas people, honestly. I'm super excited. Uh, <laughs> yes, really me excited. too. Like, I'm like fanboying over here because I've just been watching your stuff and love it. You know what? To start <laughs> off, can you tell me about how you got from San Antonio to Nashville to now the biggest drag stage in the world, RuPaul's Drag Race, and how your journey's been since that cast announcement? Yes, okay. So when I first moved to Nashville, I had just turned 18 and they saw me perform at a bar in LA and they were like, hey, we would want, the bar in Nashville was like, we want to bring you down here to perform. Like, would you be down? I'm like, of course, like if there's a booking fee, I'm there, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so um, when they brought me down, they were like, we really like you, you know, how would you feel about moving here? And I was like, uh, uh, cause like I was only 18. so. Uh, moving to another city was just a huge step because I was leaving all my family in Texas to move to a whole nother city. And after that, after living in Nashville for three years, I finally auditioned for the show. And ever since I auditioned, I only auditioned one time and um, uh, I got it. And um, now I'm just traveling now, traveling the whole United States right now, seeing all the people and I'm having such a good time doing it. That's awesome. And you're so young. I didn't even realize how young you were till you said when you started drag. And I was like, oh my gosh, you said yes. you started drag at 16. So what was that like starting so early here in San Antonio? And how do you think your drag's evolved since then? Oh my God. When I started off doing drag at 16 in San Antonio, it definitely taught me a lot. It definitely taught me how to be professional, how to, you know, wear the right things for like the audience, you know what I mean? And it's definitely taught me how to connect with people and, you know, like be more social, you know, because honestly, I would definitely have to say the San Antonio scene is very like competitive with each other, you know what I mean? Because everybody definitely. wants to be on the top, you know? And honestly, when I first started out, I just got so much love and so much like with open arms. And That's doing Drag in San Antonio, it was just amazing. That's awesome. And I've seen a lot of the drag shows here in San Antonio and everybody's really friendly. So I, I love coming in. I can't wait to see you whenever you're here. I can't wait to see you. I would love to see you. Um, yeah. So from, from what we've seen up to this point, you really have brought it on the runway on Drag Race and your Instagram is full of great fashion photos. I'm definitely getting the Selena vibes and the South Texas influence. Uh, you also said you're from the west side of San Antonio, right? Yes, I'm from, my whole family's from the west side of San Antonio. So, you know, I got to represent the west side of San Antonio, you know? And um, yes, I definitely want to represent my city and my state because there hasn't been a te another Texas queen in a minute in, in, that has been on the show, you know? Probably definitely. ever since Alyssa Edwards, not, no, not even Alyssa Edwards. I have no clue, but there hasn't been another Texas queen in a minute. So I definitely wanted to represent Texas well, you know? So tell me about your current style and what inspires those looks that we were just talking about. Selena, you know, South Texas style. Yes, yes. Selena has definitely influenced my drag so much because the way she has her cutouts, she makes her body look so long. She's a thick goddess too, just like me, I imagine. <laughs> but, um, uh, no, but it definitely taught me how to like style myself by looking at Selena's like outfits because they're so gorgeous, like so beautiful. So I was like, you know what? I have to incorporate that in my drag. Yeah, and it's definitely a San Antonio staple to talk about Selena and anything that has to do with Selena. So I totally get it. Back Yay. to Drag Race. You know, last week we saw you worried uh, when you were making a sad PSA. Considering you do a lot of performing, what was what was it that made you nervous about a challenge where you needed to act as someone different than your drag persona, your normal oh my drag God. persona? Oh my God, the reason why I definitely got so nervous is because writing down stuff and writing down jokes, because I have like a lot of like ADHD, I will be honest. I have ADHD, so I get in my head a lot and my mind is always going at a thousand. And it's just like a whole bunch of words like scrambling up with each other. And it took me back to like when I was like in school trying to like write stuff down because I was awful at school, you know? And yeah. it definitely took me back writing stuff down and like trying to figure it out. So I definitely got in my head for sure. 
been there, done that. I totally yeah. know what you mean. I have to write scripts all the time. So definitely. Oh Last week God. we also saw you in a jaw-dropping lip sync. I was like flabbergasted. Everybody was shook. Uh, included, so it was you and Orion's story. The moves you showed, phenomenal. Thank Tell me about you. where you got those dancing moves and how it felt to lip sync for your life. Oh my God, where I honestly got those dance moves, there's a... Uh, drag queens in San Antonio. Their names are Tony Andrews and, and yes, Tony I Andrews. Love her. And, love her. Yes, I love her. That's my drag mom. And yes, Tony Andrews and this other queen, her name is Aminika Andrews. Uh, my brother, he used to go to the clubs and record them like when he was 18, record them on his phone and he was shown to me. And that's how I like kind of got my style down is by watching them and making it my own you wow. know yeah yes. that's awesome I didn't, yes. I didn't even know you you were related to Tony Andrews so that's really really cool to learn yes. so somehow down the line you're related to to Roxy Andrews in a way just it's a few few uh family members in between oh yes yes that's so cool that's so <laughs> cool and I've actually interviewed her before and she's awesome amazing so that is there any message that you'd like to share with any young San Antonians who may be interested in following in your footsteps? One day? Yes. The people, the message that I want to give to people who want to do drag and like want to do like all this is definitely like keep on keeping on. You know what I mean? Like my makeup never looked this good, you know, when I first started out, you know, and I definitely took it took a lot of practice and a lot of patience to to, you know, get like this. But it's important not to rush and to love yourself no matter what and just keep on keeping on. <laughs> Definitely. Yes. So, jo Georges, it's been an absolute pleasure to interview you. I'm really excited to see more of what you do on the show and I wish you the best of luck in your endeavors. Where can people find you to follow your work? Oh my God, you can find me on Instagram at Georges underscore one. You can follow me at, also on Twitter at George's underscore one, but those are the main things that I use. So yes, and then keep on on the lookout because I have a whole bunch of bookings coming up and I'll be in San Antonio pretty soon. So Awesome. And of course, RuPaul's Drag Race airs on VH1 on Fridays. That's coming up. So George's, thank you so much for joining Yay. me for this South Texas Pride Q&A. Have a great day. Yes, you too. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me, South Texas. Thank you.